This is the Art Beauty Podcast, where we tell the real truth about the fake shit. I'm Amber, and today my fabulous co-host is Nikki Ostrauer. She is the founder of Now Wellness and an integrative nutritionist. Nikki, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. Okay, so I want to make it clear for people when I say Now Wellness, that's not N-O-W, it's N-A-O, wellness. Um, Is there any significance behind that? Yep. So NAO is my initials, Nikki Allison Ostrower, but it has a, a beautiful ring to it. It's if you think of the healthy Tao in traditional Chinese medicine, which right. is all about peace, harmony, and freedom. And also if we think about now, the present moment. Which oh, I love that. Now wellness was so fitting. And you actually have a now wellness center here in New York, correct? Uh, yeah, it's in the West Village. In the West Village. Okay, great. Um, So I have to ask you, what exactly is an integrative nutritionist? Yeah. So an integrative nutritionist means that we look at the whole body. So we don't just take a look at what are you eating? What are the servings of your macros and your micros? We want to take a a whole look at you in terms of mind, body, and spirit. Mm-hmm. So we look at not only your day to day, your health history, your sleep, your bowel movements, a lot of taboo, traditionally taboo topics, patterns that no longer serve you. And this way, when we make our suggestions, they're actually realistic so that you can easily integrate them into your already existing lifestyle. So not only is it realistic, it's also enjoyable, but you get the food, but you also get you know, mindfulness tips, tools, and techniques as well. As opposed to any diet that any human being has ever been on, which is just like, kill me now. A (laughs) hundred percent. Diet, as you say, is a four letter word. Um, So we want to make it enjoyable and fun. Uh, I love that. And I have to say, you know, so I was introduced to you by one of my girlfriends who is very into sort of alternative medicines and, um, you know, plant medicines. She's done everything from ayahuasca to um, some sort of frog poison that I recently heard about. I'm not sure if you were involved in that. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, But, but, a spiritual uh, plant plant journey buddy of mine. You know, which I think is amazing. And I do think that there's also, I, you know, I don't know if it's just been COVID, but certainly you're hearing a lot more about wellness these days. Do you find that there's more um, interest in sort of overall general wellness? Yeah. So there, there's a lot more um, interest, you know, due to the state of, what's going on for the past year and change, you know, folks not only don't feel well, but there's a lot of fear, there's a lot of anxiety. And so instead of sitting in our anxiety, depression, or the, just the unknown, you know, people are more pulled to take action of what is going to be supportive to my health versus let's fear the unknown of what could happen. And if I do get COVID, how can I decrease the chances of it having this long-term impact as well as also how long I'm sick? So folks are looking at how can I improve my immune system? And there's so many different ways on how to improve our immune system, not just with food, but also with lifestyle and also plant medicine. And, and people want to learn how to do it naturally. Right. And so that's well, what we're all about as well. And- And we do have to be a little bit careful with that because some would say sugar is natural. Um, You know, heroin is something that grows naturally. So you do want to be a little bit careful. You know, sometimes natural, you still have to proceed with caution, correct? 100%. And, you know, I make a disclaimer that whatever we share here, I'm not a doctor. I don't diagnose. Everything is from you know, my studies, my certification, as well as things that I've used on myself that have brought me great benefit, but what works for me may not work for you. So if you're having, totally, you know, a major health challenge or crisis, absolutely go seek out professional help from a medical doctor. 
Listen, I grew up, my parents were hippies. Um, and so, uh, you know, they were into sort of, you know, some of these what people would think far out things, although maybe now today it's not far out. And um, certainly, as I said, my best girlfriend has been on this path of alternative exploration, we'll say. And, you know, at first I was like, wow, this sounds a little bit nuts. Um, <laughs> but, but well, but you know what, the more that I have studied about things like ayahuasca, um, you know, plant medicine, I I've always been a fan of, um, alternative Chinese medicine. Right. And so ancient Chinese therapy is like acupuncture. Um, we're going to talk about ear seeds in a minute because I had never heard of that, but it sort of is within that same realm as far as I understand, um, but I do find now that there is way more support for things like um, like these, like like ayahuasca. And I've seen firsthand people who could not get help in their life or or sort of take positive steps in their life until they found that. So, um, you know, I, I guess what I'm saying here is I'm sort of open to everybody's opinion and um, I've sort of changed my own belief to say, whoa, that sounds absolutely nuts. The frog poison thing, I'm a little bit, mm, but we can talk about that another time. Sure. Um, so ear seeds. I don't know if everybody listening has ever heard of them. I had never heard of them. When you and I were sort of chatting in a pre-chat, you mentioned them. And as somebody who is a big fan of um, acupuncture, I'm surprised that I've never heard about this. So why don't we start with this? What are ear seeds? I have some here. So if you're watching this right now, they're not like little tiny plants that you're going to put and grow in your ears. Uh, can you tell us what they are? Yes. And the good news is, is that it's a hundred percent safe. Okay. And if you don't feel safe, so they are, um, you put them on with an adhesive. They, um, they do not, it's not like acupuncture where it's a needle and punctures the ear. They are these little ear beads like Amber is showing you. And we have different points on the ear. So I'm gonna show you my ear. So the ear is like a micro ecosystem. And so depending on where you're having a health challenge, there's a corresponding point on the ear where it's an acupressure point where we'll take those ear seeds and stick them on that ear point, the acupressure point, and we give it a good massage. And we always suggest to put two to four ear seeds on each ear. So whatever we do to the left ear, we're gonna do to the right ear. So there's that equilibrium. So okay. before we get into actually demonstrating on how we put them on and all the different ear maps, I'm going to share a little bit more about what the acupressure ear seeds are mm -hmm. um, because they've been around for centuries and there's a lot of great documented science, again, that I will also share with you because I think that's really important to have supported um, evidence and scientific studies. Um, but acupressure is thought to have been practiced even earlier than acupuncture. Okay. And it may date back as far as 2000 BC. Wow. So acupressure is thought to restore health by clearing or removing energy imbalances in the body. And so now moving forward, it, you know, in 1950s, a regular therapy has been advanced by Paul Neuger of France. Wait, and auricular, auricular. So oral of the A-U-R-A-L of so, the ear, auricular, correct? Yep. So it's okay. A-U-R-I-C-U-L-O therapy. So that just means ear therapy, acupressure of the ear. And so this, this really great... Um, guy, Paul Niger of France, he laid out an intricate map of points on the ear that correspond to the organs and processes in the body. So he actually believed that the ear is shaped like an upside down fetus, human fetus. And the acupressure points on the oh. ear correspond to the body parts of the fetus shape. So with the ear lobe representing the head. So Neuger theorized that by stimulating these points on the ear, the corresponding organ and bodily processes would be stimulated by nerve impulses. 
Oh, geez. So I just realized um, back in the day, uh, you know, in my wild teenage years, I got a lot of ear piercings, like probably 17 holes between the two. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Uh-huh. Did I just screw up myself for life? No. And that's interesting because we get that question all the time and, and how it, it does kind of come in between. And you can get, um, you can, you can get your ear pierce on certain acupressure points, but it's still okay. your ear is delicate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It is a micro system in the body. And so that's definitely, yeah, something that we may want to shoot. I, I might have to look at those ear maps and see what kind of damage I did, but didn't mean to <laughs> well, derail this. Now. Yeah, you're, you're, you're fine. And, and again, if you don't experience any, it might actually be positive as well because if you're okay. stimulating those points, the only thing with acupressure and acupuncture, it's a treatment, right? So we leave the ear seeds in for two to three days, and then we kind of want to pick them out and we want to let the body reset, go back to a state of homeostasis for three to five days before reapplying more ear seeds. Okay. And we're going to get into the, um, the, the sort of where to apply them, but let's start right off the top. Um, you know, one of the things that I found very interesting about ear seeds in general is that, you know, and you sell this beautiful kit, first of all, they're stunning. They're not ugly um, at now wellness, N-A-O wellness.com. They, you've got these beautiful, there are some that look like Swarovski crystals. There's some that look like little gold, tiny gold dots um, so that it's not so noticeable. And I find that they um, were really, really pretty and also extremely affordable, correct? So like yeah. a pack of, of ear seeds ranges from what? It goes from $28. For and and twenty eight dollars will get you two to three applications. Okay, and right. uh, you know, so twenty eight dollars when you consider that a single acupuncture session can run upwards of you know one hundred and fifty two hundred dollars, depending where you are. This is really an incredible um, deal. And and so then, yeah, I do want to talk about some of the science because I was looking around and I've heard. Um, you know, read credible things that it's, it's good for pain management. Yes. Anxiety. Oh, yep. And sleep, sleep. challenges, mental it, health, fertility, cholesterol, digestion, migraines, um, libido. And weight, weight loss. Weight oh, loss. Libido. Ooh, libido. So let so when we have, you know, these, and, and now, first of all, do you recommend if somebody's into this, do they need to go see a professional first, or is this something that we can kind of play around with at home on our, by ourselves? Because it's so safe. That is exactly why we made the at home kits. Okay. And we made the at home kits where we have everything accessible, where we have the map, the ear maps for over 50 different ailments. We also have ear maps for children and babies. We have a 30 second video tutorial because who has time to watch things? Um, But it's like I said, it's like cooking any new recipe. You know, sometimes it can be, it's, it's new. So you might mess up a couple of times, but that's why number one, it's affordable. It's okay to mess up, you know, especially as women, we tend to be perfectionists. Know <clears throat> that you'll get it. I promise you, you will get it. Now I don't even need a mirror to put it on. It's right. so okay. easy. So be gentle with yourself, be patient with yourself, have a mirror, or you can decide to do it with a friend or a partner the first time. But um, I do this by myself. And also my daughter, who's five years old, does it to me as well. So if she can do it, everybody can do it. Well, you know, I became interested too, when I was reading about this, um, you know, I've got some family members who, who suffer from um, back pain and really suffer. And I feel like this is a good thing to say, Hey, look, what do you have to lose? Um, you know, at the end of the day, you might as well try this. So if we're trying to, let's say, use this in a treatment form, We wear these ear seeds and then we'll get into the application, but we wear them, um, for three to five days. And then how, how long until, you know, quote unquote, start to see results. And that's where everyone is different. Okay. So if someone's used to getting acupuncture, you know, they're used to the acupuncture technology. 
you know, where they're getting a treatment <clears throat> and they're watching as their body is releasing stuck energy. And again, this goes back to sometimes a first treatment is just starting to kind of like, you know, release some energy, shake things up in the body. It might not be until the second or third application where you start to feel that ah, really still talking like within two weeks, two to three weeks, right? Exactly. But some people feel it right away. You know, I get okay. emails and text messages like, holy shit, I had the best night's sleep or oh, I great. massage, you know, the ear when I started to have a headache, boom they started to feel relief, but I like to set the expectation where it's realistic. And this way, no one's expecting this magic bullet quick fix. And right. then they think it's like some hokey woo woo. Right. Fair. Um, so I, I want to get into now application. When you yeah. talk about things like sleep, you put these on, I mean, how does it work that we're not just going to fall asleep at our desk? Like, how right. does it like, okay. Right. Because that's, that's just like any other, you know, sometimes a sleep remedy like Ambien or Xanax. Sure. It's going to knock you out. But typically the reasons why we're not sleeping is, um, something's going on or we have yeah. the mind there's some, un, you know, there's some stuck energy, which is, preventing our body from releasing its own natural stores of, you know, chemicals that we need to sleep, one of them being melatonin. So, um, or if you're feeling too relaxed and you don't like the way that you're feeling, lock them out. But I haven't heard of that where you're putting it on for sleep and, and then you're falling asleep at your desk. Got it. Okay. Fair. All right. So I'm super psyched about this. Um, I've got, I think all the tools, I have a mirror here. Okay, I have great. tweezers. Yep. So you need tweezers. You need some alcohol, an alcohol swabby. Let me grab an alcohol swab while we're okay. uh -huh. right here. Um, and, and the reason why we want the alcohol swab is to get rid of some of the um, oils, the natural oils that are in our ear so that our ear seeds make sure that they stay on. And now we're going to do this on both the left and the right side. Whatever we do to the left, we do to the right. Do the right. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So take me through this process. Um, yeah. And so then, can, yeah. And, and some people, if you have like a bottle of alcohol, that's totally fine. Just take a cotton swab, piece of toilet paper, whatever. Um, and just give your ear a good massage inside and out, get into the crevices and just give it a good, a good wash, right? Okay. Get all those oils off. Okay, once that's complete. And so already before we even actually, you know, now that you've washed your ear, we Should have- Should take all my earrings out? No, 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 no. Leave okay. the earrings in, everything can stay as is. All of these ear maps are located on my website, nowwellness.com. On the bar, go to the ear seeds, click down, and then you're going to see a button that says ear seed maps. And it comes in a PDF. You can download it. So you can see we have, I, I know you see it, read it backwards. So I'll read it to you. Depression, insomnia, focus, memory, back pain, sciatica, weight loss, libido. There's a ton. Pick one or two things you want to focus on. And then when you read the different points, so you'll see A, B, C, D, E, see which points are for what you're going through. And okay. so pick two to three. Well, and let's do one for sleep because I feel like everybody can use better sleep. Sure. There's nobody who can't. So for the purposes so of sleep, this. So first we're going to choose the shunman. Okay. So the okay. shunman is the upper point right over here. And it's actually called the master point, okay? And it's probably one of the most popular ear points used in auricular therapy because it encompasses so many different healing remedies. Okay. And it calms the mind. It alleviates stress and anxiety as well as insomnia. Um, so it's a very effective due to its deep connection with the mind and the body. 
And it's great for actually all mood disorders. So it's not just great for insomnia. It's also great for anything emotional that you have going on. So, I mean, so basically everybody can use this one. Okay. Yeah. The Shunman. Um, and so you see, I already have my Shunman right up here. Okay. But what you do first is I'm going to hold it up to my video is there's a little crevice so over here where it's very easy to peel it back. So you're going to peel it back. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to take your tweezers and you're just going to peel it off. Okay. Got it right here. So you peel it off. Got it. So you actually want the, um, in this case, I've got little tiny gold balls, but the ball part is going to be yeah. touching your ear. It's going to be sense. touching the ear point. So you actually want the tweezer to be at the very edge. You don't want it to be in the middle. You don't want it to be encompassing the whole thing. Yep. Just, just like that. Okay. Exactly. Cool. So you can Your see trusty it. mirror here. So now you're going to look in the mirror. So I'm just going to show you so you can see it. Cause I'm not using the mirror, but how easy it is. I'm going to put it on a different point just because I want you to see it. And you just rip the tweezers off and you gently press. Okay. So for my Shen men, that's yep. up here. It's the upper corner right here. Upper, upper outer. Upper. So we're kind of where the point, where the tip. Yep. So you got it. You got it. Right. Yep. And it's in the inside, inside of the lobe right here. And then pull with your finger, push off and press, press, press. Boom. And it's a hypoallergenic sticky. Um, I can't, I, I feel like they're so small. You can not really see it on this camera, but I can't tell like, they are so gorgeous. Um, small enough that if you're a man, you can totally wear these. Nobody's going to really notice, but as a woman, they're, they're also so beautiful for the guys. We do. These are the, um, uh, stainless steel silver and we okay. call them the invisible. Okay. Cause you can't really, I mean, this is so really tiny. I don't think anybody yeah. could see it. You really can't, but in real life, it's very pretty. Okay. And so you can sleep with them and you can shower with them. You can even swim with them. They're not going to come up. Wow. Okay, great. And so then, and then once they're, they're in, yeah. Do we have to they're, they're always going to be massaging that acupressure point because some of the frequently asked questions are, what if it's not exactly on the right point or if I'm not getting it right? It doesn't matter. If you're, if you're kind of almost there, and this is where you want to talk back to the perfectionist, because anytime you feel um, like right before bed or you're feeling disconnected or depressed or anxious, just give it a good massage because Amazing. acupressure is also... This is a huge acupressure point right here. For this is a great one for headaches. You can put a ear seed right over here. And just by massaging acupressure points, you're getting you're getting instant relief. Wow. You know, I feel like also at the end of the day because I am a perfectionist, what's the worst that can happen, right? You end up having a great night's sleep or maybe you have better sex. It's like win-win. Win-win. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe you're less hungry or less right. depressed or exactly. any of the things that will, I, I feel like also contribute to a better wellness, but right. you do have these very detailed maps. And like I said, I, I read, um, you know, that, that there's been some, um, nurses and pain management centers that say we recommend doing this because it gets our patients off of medications for pain. And I know so many people suffer from pain, um, also yeah. insomnia. So how many, how many points do you think on average are, are, are needed? Uh, like I was saying three to four points per ear, three to four points well, you, per you ear more, but I mean, three to four points is definitely um, sufficient and will get you your desired result. Um, and again, you know, I just want to preface this by saying consult your doctor before going off of any medication. And also it is really cool because the ear seeds are being used at medical facilities in conjunction with other treatments. Um, and it's something that you, they also send you home with them. So you can, again, do it yourself. So, and is there anybody maybe who you would say, we always like to ask who shouldn't do this? To be honest with you, 
No. Pregnant women. Oh, it's totally safe. Totally safe. And there's nothing going is, into your body. It's just a pressure point. Body. It's just acupressure points. And if you're feeling uneasy, like I said, ask your physician or, you know, just don't do it. You know, save right. it for another time. Gift it to someone if you're not feeling comfortable. I mean, they're so, like I said, beautiful. It seems like something that is so simple. Um, you know, we keep things real on this podcast, so I will definitely try this and kind of do a follow-up at some point. Um, but uh, you know, it's funny, I had never heard of this. And then of course, once I started Googling, you know, this seems to be sort of everywhere in the wellness community right now. Um, and it seems very accessible, affordable, accessible, um, and something that we can do at home. But Nikki, if people want to, um, if they want to come in, if they want to see, are you doing anything virtual? Yeah. So we, um, we are doing, we're going to be doing virtual workshops for the ear seeds. Stay tuned. Um, I also love helping and supporting anyone. So if you're interested in the ear seeds, but you have more questions, you can feel free to email me at any point. I'm super reachable. Um, there's nothing more important to me than not only folks getting what they need, but making sure that they feel supported the entire time. And did we ask, uh, the seeds themselves are stainless steel? Yep. So we have stainless steel, 24 karat gold and Saborski crystal. Okay. Yeah. So when we're done with them, do we just kind of dispose? Okay. Gotcha. Great. Yep. Just click them out and you, yep. they're disposable. Got it. Okay. And like I said, you know, leave it, we're a beauty podcast here, but they are so beautiful as well. Yeah. So it's, this isn't like the therapies where you have to, I don't know, like a night guard or something horrific. Yeah. Um, you it's know. fashion and wellness. You know, we were actually just featured in Harper's Bazaar, Refinery 29. Vogue? Weren't you in Vogue uh, as well? We, we personally were in, okay. in Vogue. Um, I was in Vogue personally. You were in Vogue. Okay. I, I was, was on your Vogue. website and I saw that. Good yeah, for you. <laughs> I was in Vogue for um, being, being a nutritionist. Um, Amazing. In, in the September issue, which was really exciting. Um, uh, ear seeds were in Vogue, <clears throat> but they were just talking about ear seeds in general, not specifically my brand. Right. And what about things? Um, so we, we talked about like a lot of emotional. Did I read somewhere that this is also good for acne? Yeah, it is because a lot of skin ailments have to do with the lymphatic system, uh, as well as if there's anything toxic going on, stuck energy. So when we clear that, wow, or skin can be related to hormonal issues and ear seeds are amazing for anything hormonal. I love this. Um, I want to thank you so much for coming on and talking to us about this. Like I said, everybody at home, I will be trying this. I will follow up on social media. Um, I'm super excited about this because again, the way that you've positioned this is really, here's an affordable thing that you can do by yourself. And, you know, from a consumer point, like, what do you have to lose? Um, yeah. and I'm guess- interested. And thank you so much for having me. I would love to offer your community uh, 15% off. Oh, well, thank you for that. You're welcome. And I can absolutely give you a promotional code that could be easy for your um, for your community to access. Oh, okay. What should we, should we figure out what that would, how about just art beauty? Can you do that? Art, art beauty. There you so. go. That's amazing. Um, Nikki, thank you so, so much. If people want to know more about Now Wellness, N-A-O Wellness, where do they go? They can go to my website, naowellness.com. And you can also feel free to email me, which is Nikki, N-I-K-K-I at nowwellness.com. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I have to say you have this very Zen aura about you. Um, (laughs) so, uh, something, something in there must be working. You seem very, very calm. Um, and if everybody at home, if you've got questions that you want me to pass on to Nikki, I'm always happy to do that. You can email us at hello at our beauty podcast. You can find us on Instagram and Facebook at art beauty podcast. And as always, we will see you next Tuesday, hopefully more rested and less stressed. Bye.